Hi there, this is Fixed It. I've been given this wonderful looking Tigger to have a look at and see whether or not I can uh, fix him. He has an interesting springy bottom mechanism to him, but the motor in it, or whatever it is that causes him to uh, jump, isn't currently working. So I'm going to open him up, have a look inside and uh, see what I can fix. The battery compartment is actually in the uh, in the back of him, there's a velcro flap. Um, so I'll open that up and have a look. I've tried the on and off switch at the top, uh, but that doesn't do anything. The first thing I'm going to do is to test the, uh, each of the batteries with a battery tester to see how, uh, how good they are. Because obviously a common fault is that one of the batteries um, has drained. What tends to happen is when you have a a group of batteries in a, in a gadget. The batteries tend to discharge from one end so you can find that one battery is completely discharged, the next one is a little bit and the others are two perfectly good batteries. So it's always worth checking your batteries with a, a battery tester with it before replacing all of the batteries. If you replace all of the batteries you could be throwing away some good ones. Looking inside Tigger I can see that all of the contacts are in, in really really good condition. Um, for the batteries, so fortunately, it means that the uh, the fault is somewhere else because it doesn't look as if it's the, the battery compartment. Obviously, for some toys, you open up and you discover people have left batteries in so that these are all corroded. But as you can see, these are all very shiny and in good condition, so I'm going to have to look elsewhere for the problem. I've um, unscrewed in from the uh, from the plastic plate that was sat in the base. And the other thing I'm going to have to do though in order to get inside him is I've started to unpick the back. And now what I need to do is to kind of slip his head forward. I'm going to have to cut this and then replace it later. Otherwise I'm not going to be able to get inside the body. I need to peel his, uh, his body off in order to work on the, the plastic robot inside. As you may be able to see this isn't a very simple matter. Um, there are multiple screws to undo and I'm still not sure if I've got all of them. What I need to do at the moment is figure out how to get his tail off so I can uh, take him out of this, um, this uh, skin suit altogether. Well this took a bit more dismantling than I anticipated. Um, I've had to unpick his suit, take his body off. The tail is quite firmly clipped in place. I'm not going to try and take that off otherwise it'll just snap. Um, but I had to do that in order to actually get at his insides um, so I can uh, check things out and his legs. So I'll uh, keep at it and keep you appraised. I've checked out the, uh, the power coming from the battery and uh, there seems to be plenty of voltage there and all the other connectors. Um, one of the things I did notice is that he has a connector in his hand um, which is broken off. So I've traced the wires back and it comes back to these two ground wires here and I've traced them through the other side of the board and if it is that switch then it should be a simple matter of just making a joint across here in order to get him to uh, fire up again. So the good news is, he's fixable and it turns out to be a, a simple matter of a, uh, um, a snapped wire in his arm. Looking at his arm, I can feel the switch but there really doesn't seem to be any way of easily getting in there. So I'm actually going to give up on this switch and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another switch um, on the body, so it'll be the middle of his belly. So the idea is that you press the middle of his belly and doing that will get him to uh, come alive and start jumping. And I think, to be honest, I think that's a much better idea. This is this was always fraught to uh, the cable snapping anyway, because uh, there's far too much play in that. I've given Tigger a belly button and this little switch will go nicely into that hole from the other side and then I'll wire that up. Um, 
and then what I'll do is I'll put some um, hot glue around the point of it so it's a bit bigger because obviously for a small child to press and with a bit of luck um, that will uh, do the job and Tigger will be bouncing again and with a bit of luck then I'll be able to put him back together and then try out my sewing skills which will be interesting <laughs>